Good morning and happy Monday. Welcome to Mrs. Achari's Kindergarten Cabin for today's word study lesson. So what you're going to need today for your word study lesson is your vowel chart that we made last week. And then I'm also going to ask you to have some crayons and things to um, add to your vowel chart. So as I told you when we started this vowel chart, we were going to be using it again and we would be making um, another side to it. So what we're going to be learning this week is that vowels have two sounds. There are two different sounds that go with vowels. We have the short vowel sounds, and then today, this week what we're going to be learning about is the long vowel sounds. So if you take a look at my chart, I'm gonna put it up close real quick. I put these little curved lines above my letters. That shows, that means short. So if you ever see that above a letter, that means just above a vowel. That means that it's the short vowel sound, okay? And then, so I'm going to curve that one a little bit more. So if you ever see that above a letter, that means it's the short vowel sound, okay? So this week, like I said, we are going to be learning the sounds, uh, the flip sound. So remember in class we talked about this, where when we flip our hand over, we can say the other sound of the vowel, okay? So the long vowel sound is when the vowel says its own name, and we know the names of the vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. So in a word, when you hear the long vowel sound, you actually hear the vowel saying its own name. Okay, so we have, like for A, we have A, A. That's the flip sound. E, E. I, I. A, O. And then A, uh, U. Okay, so... We're going to go ahead and first start by writing our vowels again on this side and make sure we have a little space to draw a picture. I, O, U. Okay, so those are our vowels. And then I'm also going to show you how to show that it's a long vowel. You put a line over the top of the letter. Okay, so that's how you show that it's a long vowel. Okay. So we have our vowels A, E, I, O, and U again. So today what we're going to do is draw pictures to show what sound is the long sound, okay? So we're going to be thinking together about some pictures that we can draw that would have the long sound at the beginning of the word, okay? Just like we did over here, we did the short sound at the beginning. So today we're going to draw pictures that have the long sound at the beginning of the word, okay? So for A... Our long sound is going to be made by, so this thing, you can find it on the ground. Um, I don't have a brown crayon, so I'm going to just use a yellow, okay? So it's called an acorn. An acorn is one of these little things that like, it, they fall out of the tree, and it looks like it has a little cap on its head. When my kids, when we used to take my kids to Yosemite, they would pick these up off the ground all the time and they would take the caps off and change them around. So a acorn, a acorn. Have you ever seen an acorn before? Say a acorn, okay? So we're saying the flip sound, we're saying the long sound at the beginning of that word. All right, so e. Hmm, what are some words that begin with e? I mean, really, e, the word saying its own name, okay? So I'm going to draw a picture of something that we use in the classroom. I was going to draw an eagle because that's the long sound at the beginning of eagle, but I am not very good at drawing eagles. So I'm going to draw something that we have in the classroom. We have easels, okay? So an easel is like this thing right here, but in the classroom we have the bigger ones, you know, that have wood and then there's a whiteboard on it too. So that's an easel. So when I draw an easel, I'm going to make it a rectangle and then it's going to have some legs on it so there's my easel okay so we have a corn easel okay so now for i oh my goodness this is something that all of you love i am sure and with this hot weather we need more and more of these it's an ice cream so i ice cream ice cream okay so we're hearing the name of i at the beginning of that word so let's see we're gonna draw some ice cream on a cone 
<laughs> I'm probably not the best ice cream cone drawer, but okay. So we have, let's say all the words again. Now we have the long vowel sounds, acorn, easel, ice cream. Okay. So the long sound of O is O. It's O saying its name. It's like, oh, oh. Okay. So for O, a picture for O is going to be a shape that we know. And I'm sure you can think about what it is, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you it's an oval. Now this could get tricky because we might think it's an egg, but an oval and an egg look a little bit different. The bottom and the top of an oval are the same, where an egg goes kind of fatter on the bottom. So this is an oval. I'm going to color it in too. So everybody say oval. Oh, do you hear that long O sound at the beginning? Oval. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the long O. O. Okay, the last one, U. All right, girls, I'm going to try to draw something here. It's probably not going to be really pretty, but I'll give it a shot. I'm going to draw an animal, <laughs> kind of a fantasy type animal that all of you really love, the unicorn. Do you hear the U at the beginning? Unicorn. Okay, so I'm going to draw the unicorn. So a unicorn has an ear and then it has a face like a horse. Okay, so there's that and there's its eye. And then the one other thing we know that a unicorn has that a horse does not have is, of course, its horn coming out of its head. Okay, so there's my unicorn. I'll draw a mane too. Okay, there is my unicorn. You like it? Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do two things now before I let you go. We are going to say the names of all of our long vowels, and then we're going to say all the sounds of the short vowels and all of the sounds of the long vowels to end. Okay. So just to get these into our brain. So we have a acorn, e easel, i ice cream, o oval, u unicorn. Okay, so now I want you to put your hand out. And we're going to say all of the sounds. First, we're going to say the short sound, then we're going to flip our hand over and we're going to say the long sound. Okay, so a, a, e, e, i, i, a, o, a, u. Let's try it one more time. I want you to try it with me. Okay, so we're going to say the short sound of A and then the long sound, the short sound of E and then the long sound. Okay, ready? Okay, here we go. A, A, E, E, I, A, I, A, O, A, U. Good work. So what you can look forward to the rest of the week is some fun videos teaching you what types of words we see our long vowels in and how do we know when it's a long or a short sound. So we'll be thinking about that this week. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll show you a quick close-up of my alphabet chart so you can make one just like this at home.